And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you are new here, hi, I'm Renee, and here we talk about all things looking good, feeling good, and smell again. So if any or all of that sounds interesting to you, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I would love to have you here and comment down in the comment section if you're new or if you're back. Hey. <laughs> so today's video, I wanted to talk about some of the... The, my fave like makeup products currently I didn't want to be here all day it's makeup and skincare mixed uh these are just like some of the top products I've been liking to put on my face recently ye 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 some of them are old faves that I just keep grabbing some of them are new faves some of them are new 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 um so let's just jump right into it so Let's do the skincare first. Y'all, so I had a... Oh, I think it's right here on the floor. I need to throw this away. <laughs> um, I had this Holy Hydration Keep Your Balance Elf Skin uh, thing. I think I got it for free in my order. Like, an order I had made that was, like, a certain amount of money that I had spent. So, uh, I finished that off. And I was going to purchase that. And then I saw this. This is Elf's t Pure Skin toner with oat milk aloe juice and niacinamide y'all i'm really liking this a lot um it's super hydrating i put like three or four layers of this on so i don't i'm not sure if this would be hydrating enough for in the dead of winter but it is super hydrating and when i say hydrating like I said, two to three layers of it on my face and my neck. And then I put a, just a little bit of moisturizer. And then I keep it pushing. For the whole day, I feel hydrated. I feel supple. My skin feels plump. It's just really nice. I like it a lot. But like I said, I'm not sure if it would be enough for the winter time per se. I think it would still be good in the fall. But I'm not sure about the winter time. But I really like this. And the pricing. I mean Elf's products. People are complaining about Elf's products now. Because it's higher. I mean I remember when Elf. I remember I used to call it Elf's eyes lips face. And my mom would order it online. Like once a month. And we would drop like $30. And we would get a bunch of products. Because everything was like $1 and $3. Um, now things are like $15. But it's all about the market right. So and what they can get away with. Versus like the Comp the competition and i just think elf's products have gotten better not to gas elf but i do think it's one of the best like affordable brands out there in terms of like makeup and stuff but yeah so that's this uh the next thing i want to talk about is this this is not skincare per se okay is this this is the super group unseen sunscreen y'all i'm not recommending this okay because it is big money However, I really like it. Um, this is the second one I've gone through. This is very expensive. This is very expensive. There's another sunscreen that I've been using that I quite like. I got it from the Sephora brand, but it's only like 15 bucks. Um, I should have grabbed it. Honestly, that would have been an intelligent decision. It's in my kitchen. But um, I like that a lot. And it doesn't have white cast i do have to really blend it in not really let me not be dramatic i do have to blend it in but it's not it's nice it's nice and it's significantly cheaper this is like 30 bucks um the unseen sunscreen but i yo first of all it's clear let's just put that elephant out in the room it's clear i am brown do you see me so a lot of sunscreens that a lot of other people on social media well that they gas up um gives me gray gives me white cast gives me weird coloring to undertone i have to put makeup on over it just it, this is automatically clear and then there's something like pore filling and smoothing about this um it's almost almost silicone almost type it's really nice um and so i really like this and the other thing i've been really liking another expensive thing ugh, is this tacho the water cream now i have been using this a lot I do still have some of my um, Summer Fridays, so I also, I mean, this is a, this is an honorable mention right here, um, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. It's you, it's one of those things I feel like you either love it or hate it. I absolutely adore this thing. Yes, I use it. I know it's a mask. I use it as a freaking 
moisturizer and keep it pushing um but i don't really use it too too much now because it's just getting really hot uh i'll go to sleep in it and that's kind of about it this right here i've had this for about a month and a half maybe even two months to be honest but there's still some left this is the water cream and it's just wonderful it's just obviously bougie it's luxe using it is that absolutely necessary to function in life no but i like it and i got it for like a decent price with some other products so i enjoy it and i really like it does anyone else let me know down in the comment section if you hate when you like expensive things like you buy it and you're like oh i'm probably never gonna like it again or you got it in like a like a collection and you're like i'm probably never gonna buy it again it just was the price was pretty good i might as well test it out and then you love it yeah i've been using that on and off for a while like a few years and it's just always good every time i use it anyway i think that was all of the actual skincare let's get into other makeup makeup so i'm loving this elf halo glow liquid filter i never actually tried the charlotte tilbury one i don't believe no um yeah i don't think so I don't think it's, it's necessary. This is amazing. I've even used this above my makeup. And if I am gentle, right? You pat it in. You're not like swiping across your face and stuff. It is fantabulous. Um, you can put this underneath your skin. Uh, uh, underneath your skin. You can put this underneath your makeup, over your makeup. As just a, like it's, there's enough coverage that it kind of covers a little bit of like evening out your face and stuff i love this product and just gives you like this beautiful dewy gorgeous 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 thing and it's a good price and i've been dabbing this on my face i mean you don't need a whole sugar ton and i just feel like there's a sugar ton of product in here um 1.06 fluid ounces and it just could last quite a bit of time. Those clean girl set vibes, the girls who just don't want a lot of makeup on their face, the girls who want to glow underneath their makeup or above their makeup, this is the product for you. I mean, everyone's talking about it. It's a gap. Like, Elf is just slaughtering the game when it comes to duping stuff. And I say dupe some more when it comes to the big brands who charge big money for their products. And everybody doesn't have the big money for it. Elf is your girl. That's your girl. That's your babe. That's your friend um moving on i have two concealers here i have a i like all, all my concealers but i go through like phases of how much i like my concealers for whatever specific reason i am still obsessed with sephora's best skin ever full coverage multi-use concealer yo first of all the color of this for concealer which is a little brighter than my skin is absolutely immaculate if you're wondering you think we're around the same shade i use 35 n you go up you go down um a little bit darker if you wanted to match your skin this gives slight brightening nothing crazy i absolutely adore this the price of this is amazing one thing i do want to put out there is look i can see a little bit of it like coming out and it's i don't really leave this open ever um it's not the end of the world for me i'll just wipe it but that i guess you could say is a little bit of a loss of product um that's going on here right because it's not sealing properly or something i'm not sure or it untwists maybe a bit too easy but i'm i still love that like I have cre so I have lines under my eyes and I just feel like certain concealers will bring forth that and I'm not someone who even if it's supposedly self-setting I'm still gonna put powder under my eyes that's why I, I'm nowadays I don't only say I'm a dry dry girl I say I'm normal to kind of dry and I get drier in the winter but I'm not an actual dry girl because my skin really doesn't flake and stuff like that and using powder doesn't I like how my skin looks with the powder um and this works well with powder this like this is just a great product and i really think sephora's brand in and of itself is amazing um i'm not want to type it too much and then every you know too many people hype it and then they start jacking up the prices but it's great and for something that kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, this is just my opinion right this is the stay naked quickie concealer so the thing about this is this is quite like this is a lot of coverage this is medium to full coverage which is how i feel this sephora one is like this quickie one is a little more neutral-esque and this one's a little different like this is just a pinch neutral but like on my skin they both play 
a very similar role. It's not giving matte. I am not here for that, at least not right now. It's not giving um, super dewy. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. Once I powder it, it kind of, even the, even the dry down time before I have to put powder, before I have to re dot it out before applying powder is around the same. Like, I just think it's very similar. I'm gonna just be very honest with you, this is significantly more money and this is trash. This brush thing, I think this is kind of gimmicky. I think they were just trying to do something and they didn't even put effort into a good brush. This is at least not a good brush for me. Um, it's very dense. It's extremely dense. I'm going to show you the, real quick the brushes I use on my under eye and maybe it'll make sense why I don't per se like that. So the closest thing to this that I've used on my under eye, but this is not my favorite thing, is this. And this is a morphe brush i don't know what number this is but it's like this bushy brush but you see how much smaller it is in comparison to this and this is not my favorite brush to use on my under eye but i have used it it's just it's less bristles in here and this is it's soft but because it's so many bristles and it's short it just feels like a little rough on my face i don't like that at all i love to use this under my eye this is the rt this is the real techniques 402 setting brush so i do use this for powder too to be honest but i love this it's fluffy and soft and almost like like a cupped shape and i just absolutely adore this under my eyes um there's something else that i like to use under my eyes but it's beefing with me right now i guess because i cannot find it and i definitely keep everything in here oh here we go this is the Morphe E48 brush i've used this on my under eye now this is actually bigger than this but the brush bristles are just way like you know what i mean like it's just they should have maybe just made it longer because when you go it just feels rough anyway i got whatever you got what i think you understand what i'm trying to say i just it's not i don't like that top part but it doesn't matter this is in 50 wn 00 i don't know oh 70 nn i'm like what is this so this is 70 nn <laughs> and this one is 35 n <laughs> um so those are the concealers <sighs> let's talk about blush no let's not because i have a few of those let's talk about mascara this is still my fave mascara i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm actually about to talk to my husband about giving me the money to buy another one of these <laughs> this is <laughs> guys i really like this they did a really good job with this um this is thrive cosmetics uh, mascara. This is their tubing formula in Brin, which is just their black. I'm actually wearing it today on my lashes. I only put one coat of it on. I've sometimes put two, even three coats if I really have to take the time to just like it's beautiful. It makes my lashes pop. It it makes me feel like even when I don't put lashes on, because I'm just can't with the lashes these days like that. Only sometimes. Um, and but I really like mascara um, eyeliner. It makes me feel like I don't have to put on lashes. Like, you know how sometimes you'll put... Let me know if you agree with me down in the comment section. When you put a certain amount of eyeliner on, right? And then you're like, damn, I really have to put lashes on just to continue this. This mascara makes it so I don't feel like that. You know what I mean? I really love this. This is expensive. It's like 25 freaking dollars for this. And um, it's been about four months maybe I've had this. So this got to go. But it still works amazing it's a heavy ass mascara it's great there are some drugstore ones that i do really love i do not think the one from i don't remember milani is it milani have they have like a dupe of this i don't think it's a dupe i think it's very clumpy very clumpy and very wet like i feel like it would have to leave the wand out so it can dry up a little bit before i put it on my eye i have a script it off and do too much so like there are, e.l.f. has a couple good ones. Of course, we all know the Good and Dandy Sis or um, Essence Lash has this, you know, these are amazing. So I'm not like, oh, I guess this can be an honorable mention for sure. But yeah, that's that. Of course, Nick Epic Ink Liner is the liner I use forever. I've been using this for years. I've, just, I've gone through at least like 15, 18, 20, 22 of these. Like I've gone through a mad number of these. I've left them open on accident and had to buy new ones and I went right back and bought it or I closed it incorrectly and, and messed up the brush and still go and go buy more. However, I have a new love. It's not happening the next, but I'm really, oh, 
this I want to talk about too, but that is not what I was actually going to talk about right now. Oh, it's right here. Guys, Sephora's retractable eyeliner. I have it in matte black. Guys, this look a gal is something else. I'm not even a big fan, to be honest. I do like the liquid eyeliners. So I'm not a big fan of these type of eyeliners. I love this look a girl. Oops. Oh, this is a sharpener? Oh. Guys, she is great. And then so I've I've even tried to start doing this little thing here where people like, what is this called? Like where you, you smudge out your liner. I love this thing. And then you give this a little setting spray it's mist. Hold on. Of course, my fave. One of them, so far, this is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. It's the only one that comes up against my Urban Decay Setting Mist, which is also a fave for this month. Give that a little spray. Let that dry down. Rubbing this is... Obviously, if I go ham on my eyeball, it's going to rub. But if I just try to do like a, a... like a, It's... Can you focus? You see that? It's... You see my skin moving as I'm rubbing, right? Because some people, when they be rubbing it, you be like, oh, ting, ting. Like, it is really nice. I really like that. Um, the point. When I want a cat eyelet, like, it's just going to be this. But I've been actually quite liking this, like, smudging it out right here. And I don't feel the urge all the time. I have a little cat wing now. A lot, whatever. But I like that a lot. I'm really happy with this product. Um... Would I say this is boom on the waterproof? I'm not sure. I'm going to swim with fe full fierce beat too much. On occasion, I do. Because I like to just test myself and see how well my makeup is going to last. But I haven't used this product yet. Going swimming or anything. But I really like this. And it's obviously a recently priced product. Let's talk about eye products. Eyebrow products. This. Y'all. So, as you know, if you watch any of my videos, I really love the um, Dip Brow Pomade from, uh, y'all know, y'all know, and I'm not going to find it because I just have my makeup all over the place right now, um, but the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Artist. Anastasia Dip, Pom Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. She's the one. I've been using her for on and off for years. I love it. Not on and off, really. If I do my brows, it's probably what I'm using. I've tried other products. It's made... A lot of people complain maybe that it's like a little too thick. It's a little too whatever. I guess I've been over the years of just using it. I've gotten used to it. So now I've used other brow products and it's too slippy. I need that thing to grip and steal with my put it. Don't move. Yes, I stay another line. You know what I mean? Um, This is... I hesitate to say amazing. This is, um, I've only had it for like a week or two, but I'm really liking this. This is the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. This also claims to be waterproof. And this is in the color Granite. Y'all, I tried the Morphe one, and I, I, when I would put down, it would press in, right? So that would agitate me. Look at this thin line so if i want to do like those little hairs in the front which i have easy peasy i also like to just make my line like i'm a coloring pro and color it in guys i just can't with all the, the little hairs i can't be here for 30 minutes doing just my brow hairs it's a lot for me um uh, i love this thing and i will be buying more i will be buying more um I will be buying more. I could literally just do my brows and mascara. Um, brows, mascara, this, and a pinch of blush. And I have, it looks like I have a full face beat. Like, I just look amazing. Like, literally. When I'm like, I obviously have tons of days where I put zero makeup on. But then there's days where I don't want to do too much. And I'll mess around and just do this combo right here. This is like my combo. Or... This is my color. I mean, there's a couple blushes that can interchange out, but this is basically the base of most of my looks. Um, when I want to do something very simple, my brows are done, my mascara, and something just to give me a slightly like glowing look and even out my texture. And I feel amazing. I feel beautiful. I feel ethereal. Um, it's guys. I think these blushes have been my fave for the past since they 
released almost uh well since i got my hands on it because they released like a couple months before i could get my hands on it but sorry real quick the snicks stick it stick it i'm actually really likening likening i'm actually really liking this thickening brown mascara guys it's just i got the brown color not the super dark one and i love this look a girl i love just it just when i don't want to color in too much right because now i'm using a pencil as opposed to that uh, so much product in that pan um i will draw my line then i will take this brush through and it fills in so much that when i go back into use this i'm not using as much of this product and this is also affordable go next go sephora we love affordable girly i love rare beauty when it comes to higher end products this is actually at a reasonable price point i am actually wearing believe on my face right now with the moira cosmetics blush that we're about to get into but this i really love this is in grateful this is when I want to be punchy. I want to be bright. I want my cheeks to shine bright like diamonds. This is when I want to give myself a little more neutral, a little more of a toned down but still pop in there type of look. You guys can still see it on my face. Go ahead and hit that like button if you're liking my blush. I do put a lot of blush on. Um, I do see a lot of people of lighter complexion say oh, be very, very gentle with this. Me drop, 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 come a and blend it out because I am of melanated descendants. <laughs> So um, I'm very happy she put uh, quite a bit of pigment in these things because I don't have to go and put tons and 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 tons of layers to get it as bright as I like. I like my blush to pop. As you can see, blush is popping. Let's talk about this little girl because everyone should have this. This is Moira Signature Ombre Blusher. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. When I first opened it, I was like, like, guys. This is so pretty. So this is not as punchy as the, this is what I have on top of Believe, okay? Um, yes, I layer my blushes. This is not as punchy, so I just put it on there just to add a little dimension. And then sometimes I go one, two layers. I already have this on, so I don't need to add too much. But one, two layers of this, and it just makes it pop even more now i will be honest with you this doesn't last extremely long on my face i've had people say that cream blushes and liquid blushes don't last super long on them everybody's skin is different these definitely last um a solid almost the entire day on me this i see start fading and i saw this i reapplied this about an hour ago because this was what i was just seeing on my face after being out for about five hours which is still a good amount of time but this is super affordable and i want you guys to see this isn't that beautiful? Like, that's so pretty. So, follow me for a second. When I use this, I typically go more on this reddish side. When I use the red, I actually go closer towards the orange side. Just so I can get dimension in my blush. Or like how it looks on my face. You guys probably can't tell the difference, but I can. And in person, people have complimented me on my makeup quite a bit. So, this is amazing. I got this off of Amazon, maybe like 9 10 bucks. It was really chef's kiss chef's kiss this is a banger this is the bio blurring loose setting powder in deep honey this is from um house house labs for my stuff let me stop myself for a second. foolishness no i think it is house labs i did cut out the net i don't like the net um because i do put a okay amount of powder under my eye guys just to make sure my it makes it so it creases less under my eye i don't know why i love this thing though i love the coloring of it i don't feel ashy i don't feel too yellow um i feel like yeah those are a lot of my problems or too um dark like the face powder i don't really powder my face anymore like that to be honest but when i used to powder my whole face i would use a color closer to my skin color this is slightly brighter without being too bright. I actually really, really want to go get a Fenty powder that's even a little bit brighter than this. So when I want that really pop, bright pop, this will do it. Y'all, this is new, new to my collection, but I'm obsessed. I finally have a Danessa Myrex um, product. This is the multi-chrome pigment. This is actually part of the product I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Guys, I feel like, truth be told, the freaking um, camera is not doing this product justice because it's like this it's beautiful it is not cheap um but i will slowly collect these because 
it's like Pokemon. I gotta collect them all. It's like green. But then oddly, sometimes I get shades of like a purpley in it. It's amazing. And then I have like a little um, brown up here. But this could be a one and done eyeshadow. Because I just have it here. And then like you do the little brown here. But I love this and I want to collect them all. These are my Pokemon. This is in the color Olivine. Ol Ol Olivine. I love this. This is gorgeous. I don't know how long it's going to last. But it's gorgeous. And I think that, oh no, and all of the fat lip drip oils. I have the clear one I use a lot. This is the one in Newsfeed. It's the reddish color. Guys, these are pigmented. And I have like lips that have quite a bit of pigment on it naturally. But you saw that, right? This is actually what I'm wearing right now. But you see how I'm adding more pigment? And it's so hydrating. So freaking hydrating. Of course, there's actually a few more blushes I feel like I could talk about, but these are the ones I feel like I grabbed the most recently. I've been grabbing the most recently. Um, but yeah, that's all the products I wanted to talk about today. Let me know a couple of the products, face products that you've been using a lot recently. I'd love to talk about it. Love to see if I've tried any of them. If I haven't, maybe I'll try it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Your girl is this close to 800 subscribers. And then we're, we're on the road to 5,000. That's kind of like my big goal, my small goal. Um... My small goal is 800. My medium goal is 1,000. And my big goal before I would reevaluate my goals is 5,000. Okay? So let me get there, please. Anyway, hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. It's got its name. Look good, feel good, smell good, have a great day.